Good evening, I'm Ren Wadsworth and this is your nonstop local news update. In America tonight, President Biden arrived in El Paso, Texas yesterday, a border town with thousands of migrants still waiting for changes that were supposed to have been made to Title 42 last year. During his visit, Biden met with local elected officials and community leaders aiming to, quote, assess border enforcement operations. He also made an unscheduled stop to a stop alongside the Mexico border where he noted a dire need for resources that he says he does intend to get for them. It is still currently unclear why such little progress on Title 42 has been made so far, but as the stand still continues, Biden and his, and his administration are beginning to face further scrutiny. When loved ones couldn't get to their family members who were dying, it was nurses who held their hands. It was nurses who took videos and shared with family members. It was nurses who basically told family members the condition of their loved ones. Mm -hmm. It were nurses who were there every day, some days without PPE, mm. again, sacrificing their own safety. And that's why, that's why this attorney general is here on behalf of the nurses because I know what they did. That was Attorney General Letitia James speaking out on behalf of the 7,000 plus nurses in New York that have started strikes after working long hours in harsh, harsh conditions without sufficient pay. Complaints of burnout echoing, echoing several other nurse strikes that have been occurring across the country. Nurses on strike say that the widespread lack of suitable working conditions are hindering their ability to properly care for their patients. Similarly, motivated strikes started national, started national shortly after the start of the COVID pandemic and have only escalated since. The union representing nurses in response has offered a 19% increase in pay, but strikers argue this still does not cover all concerns, including staffing shortages and lack of PTO. That's all for now. We'll have more news updates for you as the day goes on, so make sure to check back in for more. I'm Ren Wadsworth. Thanks for tuning in to your nonstop local news.